Well, good morning. This is yours truly, Pastor Andre Thompson, and I want to just take out a moment and give you a scripture on today from the book of Psalms, Amen 37. I'm going to read as follows. It says that, Be not agitated by evildoers. Do not envy those who do wrong, for they wither quickly like grass and wilt like tender green plants. Trust in the Lord and do what is good. Dwell in the land and live securely. Take the light in the Lord. He will give you your heart desire. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act, making your righteousness shine like the dawn, your justice like the noonday. Be silent before the Lord and wait expectantly for him. Do not be agitated by one who prospers in his way, by the man who carries out evil plans. Refrain from anger and give up your rage. Do not be agitated. It can only bring harm. For evildoers will be destroyed, but those who put their hope on the Lord will inherit the land. A little while, and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for him, you will not be there. He will not be there, excuse me. But the humble will inherit the land and will enjoy abundant prosperity. The wicked schemes against the righteous and gnashes his teeth at him. The Lord laughs at him because he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn the sword and strung the bow to bring down the afflicted and needy and to slaughter those who way is upright. Their swords will enter their own hearts and their bows will be broken. Better the little that the righteous man has than the abundance of many wicked people. For the arm of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord supports the righteous. The Lord watches over the blameless all their days, and their inheritance will last forever. They will not be disgraced in times of adversity. They will be satisfied in the days of hunger, but the wicked will perish. The Lord's enemies like the glory of the pastors, will fade away. They will fade away like smoke. The wicked borrows and does not repay, but the righteous is gracious and given. Those who are blessed by him will inherit the land, but those cursed by him will be destroyed. A man's steps are established by the Lord, and he takes pleasure in his way. Though he falls, he will not be overwhelmed. Because the Lord holds his hand. I have been young and now I am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous abandoned or his children begging bread. He is always generous, always lending. And his children are a blessing. Turn away from evil and do what's good. And dwell there forever. And dwell there forever. For the Lord loves justice and will not abandon his faithful ones. They are kept safe forever, but the children of the wicked will be destroyed. The righteous will be, excuse me, the righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it permanently. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom. His tongue speaks what is just. The instructions of his God is in his heart. His steps do not falter. The wicked lies and wait for the righteous and seeks to kill him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand or allow him to be condemned when he is judged. Wait for the Lord and keep his ways, and he will exhort you to inherit the land. You will watch when the wicked are destroyed. I have seen a wicked, valiant man well-rooted like a flourishing native tree. Then I passed by and noticed he was gone. I searched for him, but he could not be found. Watch the blameless and observe the upright, for the man of peace will have a future, but transgressors will all be eliminated. The future of the wicked will be destroyed. The salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. Their refuge in a time of distress, the Lord helps and delivers them. He will deliver them from the wicked and will save them, <clears throat> because they take refuge in him. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Well, I read this Psalms 37, amen, and I just want to to say to you on today, one thing is that as we read this, we find out that we put our trust and hope and be patient in God that he's going to deliver us. He's going to, we're going to inherit the land. There's something about trusting in God that you can't go wrong. Amen. And on today, I don't take off my glasses, but on today, I don't know exactly what you're going through. Amen. But I want to say this directly to you on this day. You have to trust in God. Many of you have put out petitions and ask God to um, bless your families, to get you a job, um, to heal um, your body, maybe to save a loved one. And I want you to understand that God is faithful. All he's doing is waiting for you. That's right, you to believe and have faith and trust in him and be obedient and wait on him. Amen. You see, the wicked, they have all kinds of schemes, the Bible says. They are out to destroy us. They're, they're, they're the kind that will borrow, won't give back, won't pay back. And, you know, the Bible gives the, the, the comparison where we are givers, we're gracious giving. You know, amen. And you got to understand, we are exactly what our Father has created us to be. We are created in His image, amen. And now that we are, amen, King's children, Jesus our brother, we are in the kingdom. We are heirs. We have been adopted into the family, amen. We shall walk in the same way, amen. And one thing I want you to say is that when you're going through something, see, the Bible declares that God is like a man, amen. He will not allow us to see his children. The Bible says that he will not allowed to see his seed begging bread mm. you know and it's something about the word seed because that can mean a lot of different things can it see you can plant and it multiplies it grows into something great amen but i, re I recall jesus saying if you have faith as small as a mustard seed you can say to that mountain move and it shall be thrown into the ocean you can tell it to move and be thrown into the ocean and I want you to know if you got that kind of faith, you can move situations that are in your life out the way. Amen. You have to step out on faith on today. And I want you to know that God is never far behind you. He is never too late. He doesn't turn off his hearing aid. He doesn't have a hearing aid. He doesn't turn away. But when he sees that you are faithful and you're obedient and you have the blood stained banner of Christ, the seal of God upon your life. Amen. He is attentive to our prayers. He wants to communicate. He wants you to talk with him. Look here, beloved. I'm excited about what God is doing. So I want to say to you on today, whatever your circumstances may be, it may not even look as if you don't know how you're going to make it out of this situation you don't know maybe you're about to you're facing a foreclosure they're about to you don't have enough money for your rent uh, you need a you know you're, you're about to be evicted you don't know what's going to happen you don't know what the outcome is going to be maybe a child is out there ran away is on drugs is in the gang but i want you to understand one thing on today that god is faithful amen and i want you to know that no weapon form or shape that's formed against you beloved shall prosper but i want you to understand one thing if you don't take nothing else from this particular time i want you to understand that you are victorious you are the winner you are the head you are amen the lender you are blessed going in blessed going out and i wanted this insert this too a lot of times amen we get to the place where when god bless us we're excited right we have the finances and i want you to remember one thing beloved i'm talking to you directly to you on today amen and i don't like to point my finger at no one but i wanted to do that to the camera i'm looking directly and i'm talking to you amen listen beloved pay your tithes and give a good will offering you say man of god that's old testament oh that's not just old testament it's new testament too we're going to go into that in another session but i want you to be faithful because god said in malachi you will a man rob god 
And they said, how do we rob you? In your tithes and offerings, amen. And I want you to understand something. God said, if you take care of me, I'm going to take care of you. Now, who can take care of us better than God? No one. And listen, beloved, on the 25th of July, this month, that's next Friday, I'm going to be in the city of Phillipsburg, New Jersey. We are doing a city-wide gospel concert, praise and dance evening. Now, you might be saying that sounds wonderful, but see, the Lord told us to be wise, a serpent, harmless of dove, since he takes the foolish things to confound the wise. And what better way but to bring a, a gospel concert, have praise and worship dances, giving out free Bibles and tracts and to the saved and the unsaved to come to a city. The harvest is truly ready. We have to bake that seed any kind of way we can, but I want to let you know, I'm believing that souls that night will come to the Lord like the prodigal son. They're coming home, baby. They're coming home. And I want you all to be praying for us. Pray for me. And listen, if the Lord, if you can't make it, and you just want to be a blessing, and you want to sow a seed, mm, and to what God is doing in my life, what God is doing concerning this concert, let me tell you, if I have been a blessing unto you, I'm not going to try to pump you nothing, but we have to sow into good ground, amen. And I truly believe that God has called me for a time like this. If there's no salary that I have, amen. I do this strictly, strictly, I say to you, on faith. And I believe that without a shadow of a doubt, that folks are going to be healed, delivered, and set free. Communities are going to come together. People are going to meet each other. And I'm expecting a miraculous evening on that night. That's right. It's going to be at Walters Park in Phillipsburg, New Jersey, July 25th. At 5.30, it begins. We've been so blessed to even have the New Testament iParts that we're going to be able to give out. That's right. So you can plug it into your ears and walk down the street and listen to the word of God. I tell you, God is so good, beloved. Well, listen, let me pray of you. And I hope to see you there on the 25th if you're in the tri-state area. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for each and every person out there that's listening to that voice on today. Lord, that you will bless them, Lord. And each and every one that's going through something, Lord, you will turn their situation around. Lord, I decree and declare miracles in their life, kingdom blessings upon them. And Lord, I pull down every heavy weight that will so easily beset them, Father. And I ask you right now to look over their children, continue to increase their faith, increase their walk with you, Lord. And Lord, in all things we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Listen, beloved, this is Pastor Thomas. I'm going to be coming to you um, now and speaking about different topics and things that God has given me. Amen. And one of the things I'm going to start next week, or maybe after the concert, I'm going, to, I'm going to leave it in God's hands, but God has placed upon my heart to speak about the oneness of God. Amen. We need to get back to the basics, beloved. I mean, it's good that we're all growing, but we need to be speaking about Jesus, because Jesus is coming back soon for his church. Amen. Will you be ready? Amen. Until we meet again, this is yours truly, Pastor Andre Thompson. God bless you, and have a terrific day.